Zero calls. File list. Okay, Button. hello guys. I hope everyone's doing okay today. <coughs> <coughs> um, my voice sounds really congested today, if everyone can tell, because it just, I can feel it in my voice. It sounds congested. Someone has spread some virus thing around the community here and I've caught something that I caught either from the shopping centre or from someone else who spoke to me the other day I won't mention any names but somebody the other day spread something to me gave something to me and now I'm bloody sick oh so now I'm going to have to keep away from everyone. Damn it, I'm going to have to hide. Fuck. God. Anyway, not that I care much about that because I'm otherwise okay. What's that? Messages. Um, I just checked for delivery times. No. Calendar. Sunday, the 11th of August. For calls online. And unfortunately, I can't do shopping until we open the calendar. August 2009. Saturday, the 10th of August. Select. Tuesday, the 13th of August. One event. Button. Okay, so my next pension is... Tuesday, the 20th of August. Tuesday, the 27th of August. One event. Button. So my next pension date is the 27th of August. So I've got another pension day this Tuesday. But then there's no pension next Tuesday. But it will be the Tuesday after the 27th. So I can't do Thursday, any Thursday, the 22nd of August. No events. Button. I can't actually add anything to the trolley. When? Thursday, the 22nd of August. No events. Until Button. the 20... Friday. Saturday, the 24th of August. No events. Well, the Button. latest would be... Thursday, the 22nd of August. Wednesday, the 21st of August. Sunday, the... Monday, the 26th of August. No events. Button. Sunday, the 25th of August. No events. Button. Saturday, the 24th of August. No events. Okay, so Button. I have to start my online shopping on Saturday or Sunday. Of Sun the Saturday, the 24th of August. Sunday, the 25th of August. Or no 25th events. Of Button. August. And if there's some products that are not available that day, I would have to then check on Monday to see if they're available. And just keep doing that until I get everything I want. And then I can get shopping from the 27th of August onwards. But let's say I wanted to get milk and whatever straight away. I'd have to Tuesday, do shopping Wednesday, on Thursday, the 22nd of August. No events. Thursday, Button. the 22nd of August, and I'd have to be have it delivered by... Tuesday, the 27th Tuesday of August, one event, button. So I might as well just do shopping. S Saturday, the 24th of August, Fr Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, the 20th of August, no events, Anytime button. between the 20th and the 24th of August, I can do shopping. But if I decide that, no, I've got too much food here, then I just won't do any shopping till way after the 27th. I'll just wait till I know I need to do more shopping. That's what I'll be doing. But yeah, thanks whoever gave me their cold. Thank you, because now I'm sick with whatever somebody from the units or the shopping centre passed on to me. Thanks a lot. God. <coughs> that kind of sucks. <coughs> oh, damn. 
kind of sucks big time. Reminders. iTunes Store in iCloud. App Store. Oh shit, I've got a bloody ring up Vision Australia tomorrow. What's that? And my other problem is, what if I ring them up saying that I can't go out on Thursday morning, and then what happens if the O&M instructor rings up saying that she's sick, because everyone's getting illnesses now. Everyone's getting sick with winter viruses, so she could either say, hey, I'm sick, don't even worry about O&M, or she may be fine with O&M and I don't want to miss out on O&M. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh dear. Twitter. What's that? Don't know what I'm going to do. Recorder HQ. YouTube. 21 new items. Now, I can't think. But thanks to whoever passed some contagious airborne illness on to me that they had. So it's basically where if someone's sick, they may not come near you to like touch your hand or you know put their hand on your arm or anything but like someone walks past you and when they're speaking their spittle droplets or their na nose droplets when you breathe out your droplets come out in saliva there's little um little um saliva droplets that can be sniffled out and if someone breathes out while talking to me, which they do, and sniffles or anything like that, and I happen to be there, that particular lot of droplets that someone has sniffled out or breathed out goes airborne, and then I take all that in. And if they're sick, I catch it. So someone has been, I don't know, coughing or sniffling or, or something when they're sick. And I've been walking around outside and that's how I've gotten sick. Oh, damn. So I will say that using hand sanitizer does not stop you catching airborne germs doesn't work. It does if people touch their nose when they when they're sick with something, they touch their nose and they touch the um counter and then you use hand sanitizer to disinfect your hands before you touch the counter 
and then you put more sanitizer on later, that stops you from getting that illness that was contracted by physical contact. You can stop those. You can stop yourself getting sick by physical contact by washing your hands and that, you can. But airborne contagions, you know, that comes out Every time you breathe out, you're breathing out germ droplets. And if it happens to be a cold, you're giving it to other people. So that can't be prevented with hand washing. It just happens. So, so yeah, I'm not happy about that. Not happy at all. I'm just so <laughs> not happy. I'm just lucky that I keep a lot of flavoured drinks and I'm lucky I've got Uber Eats and I have a lot of flavoured drinks because if I don't feel well I don't sit there going oh well I know I need water when I'm sick but you know what I'm not having a drink because I don't feel up to drinking but if it's a flavoured beverage I can be really crook and half dead, but because it's flavoured, I don't care if I'm too sick to have a drink. I like that flavour so much that I don't care if I can't drink because I'm too sick to drink, I'm going to force it down anyway. Doesn't matter what cost I have to pay later, I will pay for something with suffering if it gives me an incentive to pay for it. So, so long as I've got a lot of drinks there that I'm willing to to pay for with feeling really horrible or whatever, trying to swallow, I'll drink it. Because it's got such a yummy flavour that, oh, I'd have to be not breathing to drink that. <laughs> I'd have to be already totally knocked out to not be able to drink that. Mm. I've spilt juice. Oops. I spilled some orange juice.
just so glad I've got beverages that I really like. I'm just so glad. Hot and cold beverages. fucking windy outside today. Very, very cold. Very, very windy. Freezing. Recorder HQ. YouTube. Recorder HQ. Absolutely freezing. Recorder HQ. Stop. Call. Minus zero. Pause. Pause. iPhone microphone. Okay, I'm back now, guys. I was absolutely busting for the loop. Rec what? Messages. Absolutely busting. No. Clock. Reminder. Cal remind. Clock. 12, 11 p.m. I was absolutely busting. Couldn't go quick enough. Um, but yeah, I'm just lucky that I've got a typical virus that's just the mill of the run, wintry contagion. It's not something that was out of the normal caught from food or I don't know, something I got off my hands from touching the garden without washing my hands if you're going down to the garden to put your hands in the soil and plough the trees and whatnot and other little plants so I'm lucky but still why anybody should have given me this illness I don't know so I went from having coughing thing in the throat 12, 12 week, p.m. notes I went from having something with my throat all week to now this 
So, oh, I am just lucky, aren't I, that I have a lot of nice cold drinks. And I've got Uber Eats if I need Uber Eats. But usually I'll be right. Usually. Clock, settings, iTunes, App Store, Books, Twitter, WhatsApp, Recorder HQ, YouTube, 22 new items. Actually, you know what I plan to make to go with the... Oh, that's what I need to make. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm thawing out the chicken now, but tomorrow night I want it to do up a pasta in sauce and have that with chicken pieces from the oven. Now, that would be so nice. You basically cook the chicken pieces in the oven and then you cook pasta separately and then you um you drain the pasta and then you um put the pasta back in the pot and put sauce in the pasta a jar of sauce in there to make a pasta and sauce mixture now that would be so yum that would be so nice absolutely beautiful and um and um basically i'd um then put a piece of chicken and herb sprinkle well it's chicken with herb sprinkle so i'd put a piece of that on top or next to the pasta and man that would be beautiful because you can either have the pasta separate and like put a piece of chicken in the fry pan with sauce to heat, you know, simmer the sauce around the chicken or you could like simmer the pasta sauce without adding the pasta to it um, or you could add the pasta to the sauce and um, have that as a separate side dish to the chicken pieces well that sounded confusing what you do is you simmer the pasta sauce and if you want any sauce on the pasta you put it on if you don't you don't well i like to make my pasta and mix sauce in it if i don't mix sauce into the pasta into the pasta i like to have my pasta separately from another dish that has sauce in it like spaghetti bolognese sauce and you put a bit of pasta with the spaghetti bolognese sauce you can do that but if I'm doing chicken and pasta I find it much easier to make the pasta put the sauce into the pot and mix the pasta into that sauce and have chicken with that or if it's chicken breast you cook it and then you um make the pasta and add the sauce to the pot after you've drained the pasta throw the chicken in to that sauce and a bit of onion and then throw the pasta in that's another way you could do it so it's a very simple dinner it's a very simple meal and it doesn't take a lot of cooking or what you can do is put in a handful of broccoli and one onion and some olive oil and like lightly saute it in the pan then you add about three tablespoons of water so that's about 60 mils of water and then you um you gently steam that sauteed broccoli and onion you steam that until it's nice and soft it's like sauteing your veggies in like a steaming broth so you haven't put that much water in it really it's just enough to coat the bottom of the pan and just enough to make the veggies steam soft without actually making an excess water load and then you add your pasta and sauce 
or you add the sauce and then you add the pasta to that because there's just enough water to keep the sauce running but not too much water that the sauce will stay running. So when you mix it all together, it will eventually thicken up because there's enough water to make the sauce runny enough for your vegetables and your chicken. But as soon as you add the pasta, that pasta will absorb the rest of the water and thicken the sauce. But if you put too much water in it, it'll stay runny and go yuck. Like it'll be like a very watery mix rather than a thickened, thickened dish. But you want it to be thick but saucy. You don't want to be dry thick, a dry thick gluggy mess. You want it to be saucy like watery but thick like sauce so that when you taste it you're tasting pasta and chicken with veggies and a nice thick sauce that dribbles down your chin but is really yummy and thick. Um, that's how I plan to make it in a couple of days. It's just a very easy, simple dish with a piece of chicken. Yum. Yum. And you can use four cheeses pasta sauce for that too. Make a cheesy pasta. Yum. Yum. I've got exactly the same germ that the old neighbour from living who lives downstairs, he passed it on to me. Oh. I don't know why he gave it to me. Yuck. I think it was last Thursday, I think. Or was it Wednesday when I said, oh, hello to, to him and I said, how are you going? And he goes, oh, I'm still here. And he sniffled when he said that. And I thought, ugh, yuck. <coughs> so I've caught something that he bloody sniffled. Because it happens, if you walk past someone without touching them and they sniffle or cough or sneeze, those water droplets from your nose or mouth float in the air and if a water droplet touches you, you can't feel it. It's microscopic or you can feel something like, you know, if someone's talking to you and you feel a sense of, oh yuck, why did they, you know, sniffle at me? That's all it takes to pass a germ around. That's all it takes. Thank heavens I always keep milk and juice handy. Either chocolate or strawberry milk or orange juice or coke. I always keep those handy. Always. YouTube. Combat. You. Recorder HQ. God, what the hell was I going to look at today? What's that? Um. Two or four bar. You. Recorder HQ. Recorder HQ. One hundred percent battery power. Charging. Okay. Alarm set. Region tracking on. Orientate message. No. Clock. Reminder. Calendar. Settings. Mm. iTunes store. App store. Books. Twitter. Mm. What? Recorder HQ. YouTube. Twenty-two new items. Well, it's. Actually, I want to check something out to see what happens. Hang on. I'm just going to check Combat. something. Word. Amazon. WordPress. WordPress. Followed sites. Back button. Lem share. Posted it more. Lispitors.com. Lemordit Hebenen. Followed okay. sites. Back button. Reader. Back button. Main navig. Me. Selected. Reader. 
my sites. Ta- More button view button edit but my life has blog per button button selected published drafts scheduled trashed search the 10th of august 2009 edit view button view blog posts view share menu this is my slash that I email loading the 10th of august 2009 leave a previous comment moderation is set to comments only previous link previous Safari. Text. Quick nav off. Quick nav on. Safari. Address. MDJ85 word. This one. A wordpress.com. Red two. Permission from the site. If you already have both of the. Login here. Link. Login here. Link. Create an email address or username. Recode. Address. Login to your links. Form can email address or insertion point at end. Quick nav off. 11 form controls. Quick login to your account. Email address or username. Text field. Insertion point at end. Quick nav off. What's going on? Something's wrong here. Modifier keys. Log into your account. May. Quick nav on. Modifier keys lock off. Sign up. Log into your account. Email address or password. Email address or username. Text field. Is editing. Insertion point at start. Log. Email address or username. Text field is editing. Insertion point at start. Something's not right here. I need to check something. I need to check something because it's a bit wrong somewhere. Address. WordPress.com. Secure and validated connection. Oh, shit. Recode. But sign up. Email address or username. E- email address or username. Text field M. I. Delete I. Delete N. D- M. I. C. H. E, uh, uh, e, spe, Michelle J T F delete space continue button full stop terms of service by content image password secure text field password secure text password secure text field T our websites and dashboards use powered back to e- log into your W P or P or continue or continue create email lost your back e- pass image by content terms false con- or Email me a lock buttons. Got it. But previous. Dim. Got it. Button. Preview. Next. Dim. Button. Done. Button. Email address or use path image. Password. Secure text. Fi- password. Secure text field. Password. Continue. Continue with Google. Got it. Button. Including how to control cookies. Learn more. Include. Got it. Button. Create a new account. Link. Continue with Google. Button. Continue. Button. Recode. Button. Continue. But false term by con- image. Pa- email address. Password. Secure text. Password. Secure text field. Password. Secure text I field. In. Can't even use my own bloody blog. Continue with Google. I can't do that because. Password. Email ad- login. Email address or username. Michelle at 85 at yahoo.com. Or text field. Yeah, password. Yeah. Secure text field. Slash. Back to WordPress. Lost your password. Email me a login link. Link. Create a new account. Link. Email me a login link. Link. Lost your password. Link. Back to WordPress.com. Link. Powered by Jetpack. Our websites and dashboard. Power- back. Lost email. Create. Continue. Or continue. False terms of search by continue. Image. This is uh, oh, absolutely crap. Can't believe this. Password. Image. My con- password. Secure. Password. Se- my terms. False. Con- or. Continue. But. Or. Continue with Google. Button. Continue with Google. Address. 11%. Accounts. Google.com. Secure and validated. Con- continue to. WordPress. Button. Email or phone. Text field. Insertion point at end. Quick nav off. I N. Challenge 85. At Gmail. Email or phone. Text. Quick nav on. Address. Accounts google.com. Re- re- challenge 80. Text fields. Form. Enter your password. 10 form controls. Insertion point at. Quick nav off. Enter your password. Secure text field. Is editing. Insertion point at start. Enter your password. Secure text field. Is editing. 14 characters. Hmm. Quick n- address. Recolo. Sign up. Log into your account. Email address or username. Reader available. Reader available. Address. Reload. Menu. Heading level. Search. My life at this is my life slash private. I feel happy tonight. 
I was private relief. I feel I'm glad I can keep to my related. Definitely. Here we go again. Link with six comments. Here we go again. Definitely keeping this blog. Link Hit. with six dog attack with seven comments. The ninth leave edit link Pre next comment moderation is set to net previous link next link and previous link navigation landmark previous document previous point? link navigation landmark address mdj address repeller menu heading left search my life at this is my slash update well i thought i'd write for a while i use youtube to do audio recordings i just share this email okay, link um... like be, re, be, my not the not leave a edit quick neck cop logged it false log out com post cop, notify me or notify search blogs 13,000 archives august 2019 oh. link to, I see. Six. April 2018. Oh, I see. Link. Buttons. Form control. Links. March 2000. This. Oh, March 2015. Ah, oh, I see. Fed, Jan, August 2000. July 2014. Link. <coughs> address. MD. Previous. Didn't want to do that. My life as a blind per address. Tabs. Bookmark. Update life. Stat. Edit. Customize. Edit. Skip. Update life going well. Link. Stat. Edit. Okay. Cust. View full site. Rachel Mankawi. Going to sleep. This sec. And Bayford Lily Lady. A dark. Rap. Bay. Facet. Headings. Containers. Heading. Posts I like. Want more. Top posts and pages. Smart life. Blog roll. Heading level 3. Complimentary. Oh, yes. Landmark. Archives. Heading level 3. Complimentary. Blog roll. Links. November two. December 2009. November 2009. Ah, Link. Oh, oh, I got it now. December, Jan, Ma, Ju, Ju, or, or, November 2010. The Jan, Ma, Ma, Ju, or, October 2011. This, Feb, April 2012. Okay. May, June, to, July, August 2012. September 2012. August, to, July, to, June 2012. Link. Oh. July 2012. Link. Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. June 2012. June Link. 2012. I'm just going to go June back 2012. To... Link. This address. Um, MDJ85 WordPress.com. Like I think in June of 2012. Secure and validated connection. Um, Search. See. Headings. See, this is what I like. 21 about. headings. When I write blog posts and I reminisce over past memories, I'm like, oh, what did I do at that time? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because I'm like, I forget about everything in life. So. When I'm, well, I don't mean everything in a bad way, but, you know, when you live your life and you move on and you don't remember something until someone tells you something about their life and then you're reminded of something in your life or you see videos from when you're younger or whatever. Well, I'm like that with my writing in my blogs. I'm like, oh, shit, yeah, that's right. I forget about that. So, yeah. Containers. Headings. My life as a blog. Twi June 2012. Permaling to must write now. Must write now. I'm going to bed after I brush my teeth when this is done. Slash. This is my life. Monthly archives. Heading level one. Banner. Landmark. June 2012. Heading left. Permaling to must write now. I'm going. Must write now. I'm going to bed after I brush my teeth when this is done. Heading level one. Link. I'm tired. So I'm going to make a quick entry. I'm sending it without spell checking. So if there's mistakes in it, I hope people can still read this. O and M went all right. Although I had to stuff up again. I've got more O&M next week, so I hope I can redeem myself then. I'm sick of my sessions being dragged out for as long as possible. I'm blind. I'm not so stupid that I need to be treated like a snail. I don't feel as though I'm being treated fairly from time to time. Just treat me like a person. Besides the unnecessary dragging out of my O&M, I'll say it went well, but not as good as yesterday. Oh, yeah, because... Oh, that's right. I think I was doing O&M... Fuck, oh... It's before I did a training course for cooking preparation in Darwin. And um, I was doing o and I'm trying to decide, was I doing o and to this employment agency that I was going to, or was I doing o and to get to this place? I'll have to keep reading. I came home for a while before going shopping. I bought bread, milk, bacon and eggs. I wanted bread from the bakery section, but the lady helping me didn't get it from there. Damn. Oh, well, it's normal bread anyway. I can't complain. I got what I wanted, so it's fine. Then I sat around for nearly three hours over a meal with Jehovah's Witness. 
I've now got a lot of homework to do, so I'm going to sum up a few doctrinal points in as short a table possible, in Microsoft Word. Okay, so I'll probably need 50 rows to put all my points and Bible references in there, but then I can sum up as needed, or just take a few verses at a time to my Jehovah's Witnesses. They are very well trained, but I'm starting to understand how to ask the right questions that'll get them to think outside their brainwashing box. Sorry, but I'm serious, they've been brainwashed into acting how they do in front of potential converts. So asking a few questions that they don't expect, is a great start to getting them, to think for themselves. Also giving a few statements, then asking if these statements are true, why or why not, or if they be even right or relevant, forces them to reconsider what they've been taught, without having to be direct with them. Also, I found that telling JWs that I might be right, but as it stands, what I'm saying is right according to what I believe, keeps the discussion open because it gives them a chance to try to disprove me. When they can't disprove what I've just said, they realize that there's more involved to what's been taught to them than just hearing a few lies. So they end up having to study everything they've been trained to believe again, because now they've been confronted with new information indirectly. Oh well. Before this blog turns into a novel, which they always do anyway, I'll close off in a minute. I so need to go to bed. I'm so tired after today's events. Convincing mum that I can deal with this is impossible, so I ended up laughing it all off. When she joked about me needing to remember that I wanted to be a missionary, diverting the subject a bit and laughing fixed the argument. I really didn't have the right state of mind for arguing when I got home. Now I'm just stuffed, and I so need sleep. I'm sure this blog won't be easy for people to read, but hopefully they'll understand that I can't be bothered trying to paragraph my writing as perfectly as possible tonight. Oh yeah, because I was living with mum at that point and me and her didn't get along very well. Ah, uh, we still don't actually, but hey, you know, memories come back to you when you read your old blog posts. Share this. Heading like, be the, f the 29th of June, 2012. Link. B leave a reply. Link. Edit. Link. Permalink to my first entry of the day. My first entry of the day. Heading level. Adrian is picking me up at 10 a.m. So, I'm gonna write now. Usually I might write one blog a day, but that's getting me on the lazy side. So I need to be writing how I used to book when I first started writing my blogs. I've read an awful lot of my blog yesterday, and when I found that I'd written two to three entries a day, I figured I needed to start writing more regularly. It seems like I'm neglecting the blog as time goes by. I can't be doing that. So here goes with what happened this morning. Oh, okay, because I used to neglect my blog a lot, and I've been doing the same lately as well. I got up and made a coffee. Yep, I'm obviously addicted to the stuff because I don't get sick of drinking it anymore, like I used to. I then decided to make a bacon and egg yeah. sandwich. So I started cooking the bacon, and I wanted to get the toast done straight away so I could get the sandwich made as quickly as possible. But like always happens, the toast popped up quicker than it takes me to do the bacon. What I was trying to do, was to start the bacon, then put the toast on, and by the time I'd finish the toast, I should be able to put the bacon onto the toast and wait for the egg to cook. But instead, I'd put the bacon in the pan, turn the stove on, and by the time I got the toast ready, it either needed to be cooked longer, or I'd have to clean up mess on the bench or something of the sort. So by the time I actually got the bacon ready for the toast, the toast was getting cold. What I want to be able to do is get the bacon cooked by the time the toast is ready. No stuffing around. I'll make another sandwich in the next couple of days and see what happens. I never seem to get the bacon and bread ready at the same time, which means that by the time my sandwich is ready to eat, I have rather cold toast with hot bacon and egg. When I get the sandwiches from the shop, both the toast and the food is hot. That's how I want mine to be when I cook it at home. Oh, I still have a lot of trouble with that today too. Um, what I find works better is you put the bacon in the pan, then when it's ready to turn over, um, then I um, press the toaster, the pop-up thing, I press it down to get the toast cooking. And by the time the toast is ready, the bacon's ready to put on. After I ate breakfast, I wanted Troy to come over to me so we could go inside. Instead he mucked around and didn't do a damn thing I wanted him to do. When I quickly sorted out my dishes and got ready to call him again, I heard him drinking from his water bucket. So I ran to the bathroom and grabbed him away from his bucket and asked what the hell he was doing. I made him follow me around and didn't let him do anything he wanted at all for the next 20 minutes. He couldn't drink. He couldn't leave me or anything. He tried to get a drink, but I brought him back to where I wanted him to be and made him stay there. The poor animal. I kept pestering him, patting him etc, just to teach him a lesson that if he doesn't listen, he gets no privileges. Okay, water isn't a privilege. Everything needs its water, but just for a short time, I wouldn't let Troy have a drink. After a while I let him get his drink, then I called him back to me. He came immediately, so I patted him all over and he sat there and lapped up every bit of it. I've been calling him to me every so often, but I don't let him leave till I decide he can. If he can leave when he wants, why shouldn't he come to me on his own terms? So I'm reaffirming my leadership by temporarily letting him leave me on my terms only. He's allowed to do as he wishes, but only if he can follow my terms whenever I want. If he can't do what I want when I want to, he can't do what he wants when he wants to. That system works every single time with him. In saying that, you still have to treat him nice. Don't be cruel and punish him too severely, otherwise that's counter-effective. He needs his free time, but he needs to know who's boss. Taking his free time away occasionally doesn't hurt anyone, especially if he's breaking the rules in his free time. 
If he's not breaking rules and I take free time away, it still reaffirms me as leader, so he ends up being a good dog as a result. To my mind, all good leaders set up the free time and the terms for that free time, and they take it away as needed, or to reaffirm leadership. Oh well I've discussed the subject of dogs and training so many times now, all I know is that the way I work with Troy is fine for me. Troy is still a guide dog today, and he's still my best friend. I'm happy with that. Work Chris. Now, Rachel McAlpine posted on Right Into Life, Silent Sunday, Twilight. This afternoon I need to do shopping. I need bread and milk, and I might get sausages. I don't know. I don't particularly want to buy much today. I just want the stuff I really need, and I'll get the extra stuff next week. Oh wait I need to get bacon. I'll get another carton of eggs while I'm at it too. Yeah, actually I do need a few things. Tomorrow Troy is getting his bath, so I'd like to finish today off on a good note so I don't need to worry about nothing over the weekend. Then on Sunday I'll get my next lot of money out for the week. Sunday is my socializing day. It'll be great to sit around nattering all day. I don't think I need to do anything on the Monday at this point. I haven't heard from my job case manager. So I'll be sitting around and fitting in a few walks with Troy whenever I can. I haven't walked up Lakeview Drive forever, so I need to find two hours to go for a good walk next week. I really haven't had the time to do any exercise for the past age, so I need to get going before another ages passes and I get really fat and lazy. Walking is fun, and I need to make more time for a walk. It's just so hard to walk around the suburb in and now. Too many busy roads to contend with. I also have to wait for the buses which takes up more time. If the bus is connected better, I wouldn't have to sit around for three hours every day. I can understand why mum won't wait around for the buses. There's too many rapists and other dickheads who get on them. And if I had a car or I was rich, I certainly wouldn't be catching them. The buses are nice when people aren't out to hurt others around them. But there's no way to predict whether the bus experience will be a nice one or a bad one till I sit down. Oh, because at that time... At that time, um... <coughs> at that time, when I was living in Darwin, and I mean, this was like between 20... No, 2006 to 2012, I would be using the buses and sometimes very nasty people would get on the bus, you know, and sometimes there were lots of nice people. So I did have some bad experiences and it's a bit like at least me and mum agreed that she was never going to wait around for the buses even if I had to. Um, yeah, it's just a pain in the ass, and I wish I didn't have to catch them myself, you know, which I don't catch them anymore. I probably will eventually, but, you know, it's just a pain waiting around for them. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's people taking up my space. I can understand if they are sitting there and they can't physically move over to give me more room. But if they are deliberately moving over as close as they can to me until they are practically sitting on me, and then they lean on me, that really gets me so angry. I don't keep moving onto someone's lap, so why should they do it to me? If there's two seats, each person should sit on their own seat instead of using up the next person's chair space. It's very disrespectful the way some people choose to act, and they wonder why I get so angry at them. Bus drivers are just as bad. They let the buses get so crowded that people end up fighting for space. They can't blame the passengers for stressing out when the drivers aren't making them as comfortable as possible. If people have to have space on airplanes, people should have space on the buses. If there's one thing that absolutely pisses me off, it's bus drivers who don't get rid of passengers who don't give a stuff about the people who have to sit near them. If I was a bus driver and I heard someone yelling at a person, I damn well fix the situation by getting rid of whichever pest is causing the disturbance. People don't need others mauling them or using them as a pillow. I'm not there to be everyone else's comforter. Sickness is a different story, but people aren't that dumb. If you're sick, something needs to be done to make you better. But if you're after sitting on someone's lap, that's not on. Share this. Heading level 3. Oh, yeah. Be the first. Edit. Permalink to drum. Dramas. Heading level 1. Link. I was gonna write this morning while I had the time, but laptop woes took that time away. It locked up on me and I decided to just give up on the idea. So I'm writing now. I went out reasonably early this morning. I couldn't wait to get- I was gonna write this morning while I had the time. But laptop woes took that time- Uh, V-O-K-A. I was gonna write this morning while I had the time. But laptop woes took that time away. It locked up on me and I decided to just give up on the idea. So I'm writing now. I went out reasonably early this morning. I wanted a takeaway from Woolies. One of the cafes there has the best food ever. So I really had to get a good feed. I'm getting quite fat and lazy, so I wanted to treat myself today, because I won't be doing so for quite a while now. I'm gonna save up a lot of money over the next few months so I don't have to use my bank card all the time. So I had my feed, then went to the depot to wait for a bus to Cass. On that bus, some dickhead decided to sit against me and lean on me. After I was nice to him when asking him to stop twice, I gave him a piece of my mind when he thought it reasonable to take up my chair space and use me as a pillow and a nice cuddly bear. As much as he didn't literally hug me, he certainly tried to molest me without the touchy thing. Ah, that got to me and I yelled at him. He stopped and didn't try using me as a pillow and comforter anymore. Then when he finally got off the bus, a lady in front of me asked if I had more space, and showed me the gap between the seats which creates a boundary in which a person shouldn't pass their seat space to lean on me. Then she went quiet while I was talking, but I didn't think any of it until she spewed up in front of me. Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
I nearly had a fit, and had to get me and Troy to the front of the bus, just in case vomit had fallen onto the floor. Luckily she hadn't gotten any on the floor, but I said sorry to her anyway and went up the front and blamed it on Troy being affected by it so she'd be comfortable that I wasn't leaving just because of her situation. I hate spew, but spew doesn't define the person. I simply leave them so I won't get their spew on me, and also because I don't want to vomit all over myself in disgust of hearing someone vomiting. Oh, yeah. That's how I've always been forever. Oh. I couldn't wait to get a bottle of coke when I got off at Casu Arena. I drank coke, ate a chicken and broccoli ball, and drank a cup of coffee. That made me feel better. I just sat around until it was time for me to do my O&M training. Before all this took place, I filled out some paperwork with my case manager while I was still at Pemerston. I don't agree with having to serve food to the classrooms, so what I'm going to do is work with the flow for three months. Then I'm telling my boss that I'd rather work around the canteen. She might think I don't want to be stuck there all the time, but she doesn't know me. I'll be telling her that I'd much rather be stuck in a canteen than anything else. I really didn't apply for work to do a hundred jobs. That's all right. My case manager is a bit of a moron anyway. He'll see the mistakes that re-happening, and then he might resect what I'm saying a bit more. I don't really respect people who come in with the attitude of knowing everything about blindness. If they are blind, then they might have a bit of an idea of knowing everything. But if they are not blind and they don't work with visually impaired people, then as far as I'm concerned, they can't say they know how to help me as good as they claim. I'll see how it all works out for me. If I can prove that I work better at the canteen than I do with any other job at the school, I'm certain that my boss will try to get me more hours and work there. I really hate people who try to make me do more jobs than I asked for, just because they want me to do them. If I've applied for a kitchen hand job, that doesn't include being the student's waitress. I hate waitress work, but I can't tell the boss that at this stage. If I ever do that, I'll blame it on something other than I just hate being a waitress, just so she doesn't think my positive can do any job attitude is just pretense. What I mean is, I can do any job, I just don't want any job. I did tell the boss I do whatever she wants, but I didn't mean anything other than canteen work. Jesus, I should be more specific I think. It's fine, I'll clarify myself later, and she can damn well think what she likes of me. I don't live in her head, so it's not my problem. O&M went very well. Troy fucked up at the intersection, by taking me to the wrong side of it. So we worked on Troy taking me to the correct part of the intersection so I was at the correct traffic light. Otherwise I would have been going across to KFC. I don't want that. So we worked on it for a while. I kept giving Troy treats until he got what I meant. He knows immediately that if he doesn't receive a treat, he has done the wrong thing and so he fixes his mistakes fatter. But if I don't treat him, he doesn't know the difference between getting a pat and getting no pat. To Troy, he's just doing the right thing anyway and I'm just lazy. But if I'm not giving him a treat when he usually gets them, something has to be wrong. I don't know why Troy thinks that way, but it's apparent to me that food is more of an incentive than just getting praises and pats. When he really knows what he's doing, he doesn't need the food to understand right from wrong. I wish he was like that when he has no idea. I wouldn't have to keep organizing treat bags for him. I swear to God, my room is like a tiny little pet shop. He has his medicines, toilet bags, food and his equipment to go with the whole package. If any guide dog owner needs something, they are guaranteed they'll find it here. I know mum thinks I'm a bit over the top sometimes, but that's not my problem. My problem is making sure I can come home and get what I need right now, instead of having to run around to get the stuff. If I keep a stock of everything, I don't have to worry about buying things every single week. Besides Troy making a major mistake, we did well. All we need to do is label the stove and the microwave, and in time, the till. Oh man, I'll be working the till one day. Please boss, don't make me become a teacher too. Peeler lace, to be really blunt, I just want to work at the canteen, all day and all night if given the chance. I don't need to walk around the school to serve the food, just give me the canteen and the kitchen, and I'll be in my element. I'll just repeat myself every time the boss says anything about me being in the kitchen too much, because I want her to know that there's no such thing as too much damn it. Okay, there's such thing as too much waitress work, and too much preschool education work, but there's never too much canteen work. If someone else wants to teach the preschoolers and do the waitress jobs, good luck to them. Just give me the chef and kitchen duties and I'll be happy for the rest of my life, I hope. Adrian is picking me up tomorrow from home. We're gonna look at the bus route to this bus stop. That'll be fun. My GPS will need to be ready to go, and Troy will need to be ready to work really hard. We walked forever today, so he'll need a good sleep tonight so he can walk for another 3 miles tomorrow. I'll check my GPS pedometer when my O&M session finishes, and hope that it says I've walked for over 5Ks. I'm getting too fat and lazy not to walk around. Believe me, when I get a new guide dog, we're gonna start walk- <laughs> That's exactly how I think nowadays too. <laughs> oh, I'm getting fat and lazy. I can't keep, I can't, can't keep being lazy. I need to keep walking around because I'm too fat. <laughs> And when I tell the doctors that, they're like, you do more than enough walking around. Why do you need to walk for more than 3Ks? And I'm like, because I need to walk. I love walking. And I eat. What do you do when you don't eat? Well, some people exercise and they have to stop exercising because of losing too much weight when they're not eating. But if you are eating, then it makes sense to exercise. I don't know. That's... Don't call me crazy, but that's just how I think. <laughs> and the doctors are like, oh. I'm like, three Ks is nothing, man. And they're like, oh, well, you know, you're not too fat. It's like, well, okay, but you know that if I walk 
for more than three k's a day, I'm not automatically going to stop eating. (laughs) I think the concern is that because I've relapsed with anorexia a few times over my life, I'm likely to relapse again. Um, It won't happen immediately, but a trigger could occur, you know, like a bad illness or traumatic event or something could trigger a relapse of anorexia. But because I have an exercise addiction where I need to keep walking and walking and walking, there are days that I can sit around and do nothing. But when I'm not sitting around doing nothing, I'm walking. So... If I combine walking or other exercise and um, and um, not eating properly, that can be pretty dangerous. Adrian is picking me up tomorrow from home. We're going to look at the bus route to this bus stop. That'll be fun. My GPS will need to be ready to go, and Troy will need to be ready to work really hard. We walked forever today, so he'll need a good sleep tonight so he can walk for another three miles tomorrow. I'll check my GPS pedometer when... Shevis, heading level three. Adrian is picking me up tomorrow from home. We're going to look at the bus route to this bus stop. That'll be fun. My GPS will need to be ready to go, and Troy will need to be ready to work really hard. We walked forever today, so he'll need a good sleep tonight so he can walk for another three miles tomorrow. I'll check my GPS pedometer when my O&M session finishes, and hope that it says I've walked for over five k's. I'm getting too fat and lazy not to walk around. Believe me, when I get a new guide dog, we're gonna start walking for miles as soon as he's qualified to go everywhere with me. In fact, I hope it's a she. I want a girl dog, and I want it to be as fit as possible. We're gonna walk and walk until I'm half dead and he slash she is ready for a good sleep for 12 hours. I'll get time to do my own thing then, without the dog pestering me for a walk. Troy is getting less and less annoying as he gets older, which is really good, but it means that he's gradually slowing down. So, that's a bad thing. I don't want him to get naughty, but I also don't want him to really slow down and get very lazy either. This was at a time when I felt that I would want a new guide dog. Now I've changed my mind and I don't want a new dog. I think they're too hard to look after. I don't want a new guide dog. So... So yeah, I don't really want a dog. I don't think dogs are very good pets for me or, you know, a good companion anymore because my lifestyle doesn't suit having a dog. So, the doctor thinks I'm crazy. The doctor thinks I'm mad. He thinks I'm mad. That's his problem. He can deal with that problem in his head. If he locks me up because he thinks it's my problem, then that is another problem he can deal with because I'm living the way I want to live and if he wants to call me crazy, that's his fucking choice. That's his opinion. Share this. Heading left. Too much. Share this. Heading. Too much mucking around. Today's O&M session went extremely well. I was happy to be getting out of the house to get started on my own M training to the school. Chev, Troy is doing very well. At some point I'm, I came home for a little while. Then I went out and bought a, share this, email, like, be the, the 27th of June, 2012, link, leave a reply, link, edit, link, end, tabs, post, top, blog roll, uh, blog stats, heading, share this, heading level, the 26th of June, 2000, leave a reply, edit, link, all the posts, button, end, main, Search. Text field. All the posts. Edit. All the posts. Blogs. 13,000. Block. Search. All the posts. Button. End. Main. Preview. Address. <laughs> Reload. But This. Archives. Heading left. Block. 40. End. Com- containers. Heading. Link. Nove- this. Fe- ma- ju- ju- oh s- o- November 2010. Ju- ma- eight, ju- o- October 2011. August. Two- o- no- the- ju- ma- eight, ma- ju- o- September 2012. Link. August 2000, July 2012. Link. June 2000, July 2012. Oh, okay. Link. There July 2012. Link. Address. MDJ 85. My last day 10 of training. Heading level 1. Email. Link. Link. Okay. Tabs. MDJ me. 07. Skip to toolbar. Link. Customize. Link. Blog at wordpress.com. View foot. Rachel man. Going to sleep away. The secret blind. Link. A, a dark chocolate day. Link. Headings. Top post. Blog roll. 
Heading level 3. Archives. Head blog stats. Head share this. Head rant. Freak. Heading level 1. I'm in my room with Troy. Rant. Freak. Heading level. Can, braille. Speak. Lines. Words. Rant. Freak. Freak. Carrick. Cap F. R. E. E. K. X. Comma. Space. F. E. R. Expert T. I'm in my room with Troy. Words. Lines. Containers. Headings. Links. Headings. I can hear. Share. E. Like. Be the first. The 27th of July. 2012. Link. Bookmark. Okay. Share this. Heading level. Rant. Free. I'm in my room with Troy. I ain't leaving soon either. Everything was going fine until I heard a glass smash. Or maybe a number of glasses. Or a big glass thing. By the sounds of the cleaning up. I heard mum call out and she sounded like she was hurt. So I'm not leaving this room till I know what's happening. I really don't want Troy to get scared either. Mum and B had a huge argument last night. So I screeched at mum and B, telling him to teach her a lesson or something. That she needs a hospital bed rather than her bed. All that stuff. I still agree with what I said at times. But I also think the arguments need to not be happening for me to get so angry. I hope mum didn't get hurt by that glass breakage. I bet she didn't because I can hear her cooking. And I can smell food. I'm not at all hungry tonight. I just want to go to bed early. Ah. That's where the doctors are concerned about me relapsing with anorexia. Well, that's why. Because back in 2012, and it was a lot longer before that, but I'm only talking about what I write about in my blogs. From 2009 onwards, it was probably happening from way before I wrote my blogs. But anyway, from my history in my blogs from 2009 to the present day, um, at least at this time in 2012 and earlier, at least, my history of not wanting to eat much or at all from time to time, and when I am eating, I'm not eating very much and I'm really skinny, um, suggests that I was suffering from eating problems, you know, where I was struggling to eat a lot, didn't want to get really fat and lazy, but then I didn't eat very much either. So when I did get fat and lazy, was it because I wasn't very fat and I thought I was, or was it because... I sometimes did eat a lot and so I had the illusion of getting fat when most of the time I wasn't eating a lot. So at the few times that I did eat heaps because I was really hungry and most of the time I wasn't very hungry and occasionally I wasn't hungry at all so I wouldn't eat dinner or breakfast at you know at times. Maybe eating a lot once in a while gave me the illusion of getting fat when really I was actually very hungry and had to eat a lot because I was so starving. So I never realised I was starving myself. I can hear someone vacuuming the floor, so at least the glass is being sorted out in a flash. I heard the rest of it being chucked away. All the things that re happening here are freaking me out. I so can't wait to move out. I want my own place where I can do what I friggin' well want. When I want, I'll get a miniature poodle as well, I think. By then I should have lots and lots of money to spend on important wish items. One of them is the dog. I've got a guide dog, but I want my own pet dog too. Eight week old dogs would be fine for me. If trained young they grow up to become loving companions. I don't like older dogs cause they are harder to train and they are a bit harder to make friends with. I need something that has to depend on me for three months so that when it discovers the world, it'll already be my friend and won't want to leave me. So that's what's happening, hopefully within three years. Territory housing is taking their sweet time, so who knows whether I'll need them by then. Anyway. I may be living with someone, or will be renting in my own unit and being clear with territory housing that they are not very accommodating. I've already got independence. All I need now is a place to call home. A place where I'm not told what to do every single day, whenever it suits someone to tell me what to do. A place where I can make up my own rules. A place which I can retreat to when I want time to myself. I want to invite people over for dinners and stuff like that too. I want to be able to do whatever I damn want without having to check if it's okay or not. Whether mum likes it or not, it will be okay for me to get a pet dog. End of story. It's my life. I need a pet in it. Some people need men, women, children. I need animals and all three others. Only I don't want my own children. But I definitely need pets in my life. So at the time I was hoping to be living in my own unit within a few years, two or three years time. I thought at least three years then. I wanted to live in my own unit in Darwin but then I ended up moving to Kansas instead which you'll notice as I go through my blogs that 
instead of moving to Territory Housing, I moved off to Cairns. Things seem to be a bit more peaceful now. I hope one thing I can say is that I'm glad I cooked spag today. I cook the pasta in one saucepan and the rest of the food in the other. But next time I'm making sure I start the pasta directly after putting the onion and bacon in the saucepan. I'm so sick of having to turn the mince hot blood off just to finish waiting for the fridge and pasta. That's not how I like cooking. I like cooking to be a smooth, flowing experience, where one thing leads to another till it's all cooked. Not any of this stop-start shit. The food needs to be cooking until I've mixed everything together. Then when that's complete and cooked through, the stove gets turned off. I made a big mess because the water boiled over when I was cooking the pasta, but at least the food cooked properly. I had a fair serving of spag, and I think that's why I'm not so hungry now. Oh, and I had some chocolate cake and coke a couple of hours ago. I just don't want to eat tonight. Plus, mum keeps nagging at that poor little dog when it has no idea who it is or even why it wants to keep yelping. Mum needs to just fuck up sometimes. If I was the pup's mother, I certainly wouldn't want it to have a grandmother like my mum. Nagging at a puppy which has no idea who it is, isn't going to teach it anything. That poor animal is probably wondering why it keeps doing the wrong thing, but doesn't know what's right from wrong, so it's just barraged with confusion. Poor bastard. Oh well I'm glad I don't own the thing. If it was my dog, I'd be telling everyone to shove their opinions and let me look after the dog my own way. Of course until I ask for opinions or advice. I won't tolerate being told how to treat a kid or an animal by no one. Tomorrow I'm doing nothing all day. I may go out somewhere, but I don't know where. Probably into the city to just chill out. I won't do anything except mill around all day, no matter where I am. Troy will be having a bath tomorrow, according to my calendar, so I'll just go out after that. A good bus ride into the city will do me and Troy good. He needs to get away from the stresses of having a new puppy in the household. To be blunt, I don't think Troy likes a new dog. Puppies just aren't Troy's thing. He only likes dogs that he can relate to. If he can't relate to a dog in any way, forget trying to be friends with it. Troy is friendly to animals when and if it suits him. The next guide dog I want will have to be used to little puppies, because I will be getting a pet dog in the near future. It mightn't be tomorrow or next week, but it will be in the near future. It's easy enough to buy you can Uber. I'll just get the appropriate brand and a few thin pressed bone things, and the dog will be in heaven. If mum thinks I'm gonna say no to offers of helping out with feeding dogs anything it can eat, forget that right now. I love hunting for dog stuff, so if she hadn't wanted to buy any chewy stuff for Toby, I'd have been going off to pet world tomorrow to get a few things just to be as helpful as I possibly can. Mum and others can say I'm crazy as much as they want to. I like how my life is, so it's not changing until I dislike something about it. Actually, I do want to change my living situation. So I'm already putting plans in place to change that. Everything else is good to me, so I'm keeping my life how it is for now. If I can keep Troy happy till this dog grows up, I'll be fine. I think Toby will be fine if he's fed all the time until he gets older. He just needs to be fed, cuddled, molly coddled etc, until he's big enough to fend on his own. After that he's on his own feet. This keyboard is the most crappiest keyboard I've ever used. I had to do a spell check on this document, because some of the letters kept typing twice. I always press the keys once so the letters should type in once. But the amount of doubled letters in inappropriate places is unbelievable. I could type better with my old laptop. I'm sure this keyboard is just a rubbish one. The computer was fairly expensive though, so I don't know what the manufacturer's problem is, if they can't provide good keyboards with their laptops. I bet after I finish this paragraph, I'm gonna have to spell check again, knowing that there's going to be more spelling mistakes that I haven't even tried to make. Okay, I'm gonna have to post this because I've got our little critter on my lap and I'm trying to teach it how to go to sleep. Share this. Heading level 3. Oh yeah, we had a little puppy at that point, a small puppy, and it would turn into a vicious dog because of the way mum and her ex-boyfriend treated it, but anyway, yeah. Blog stats. Heading level 3. Share it. Rant. Free. Share this. Troy's bath. And going out after that. Heading level 1. Shep, drama drama. Heading level. I know it's nearly 3 in the morning, but I so have to write. Me and Stacy were talking a lot about foster care tonight. We were having a good conversation about what to do with a bad situation she was in with a case of hers. When I decided to talk about my own personal experiences with foster care as a recipient. As much as there are good foster parents out there, I happen to get ones that were all right, but not very reasonable. They were too strict. I might have been a naughty 14 year old, but the case manager was supposed to be finding a carer that was suited to me. The departments try to match kids with carers, which I suppose I can understand is a hard job. They are not given as much info as they'd like. At the same time, people who want to protect children, yet don't want to help the carers out when the time arrives, are heartless brats who successfully wrecks the system for everyone. Again, the individual carers are fine. Some are strict and some are not so strict. Some are good and some are bad. As for the child protection workers, if they can protect children as good as they are supposed to, they shouldn't be part of the system. So all this got me completely turned off foster caring, which I was trying to tell Stacy about. Oh, this is where me and Stacy. I've listened to her opinions all night, and her experiences with life and all that. So when she decided to hang up after I tried to open up about my life as a recipient, I was so angry at her. I rang her back straight away and got way over the top with going off at her because I was so fucking pissed off. I still kind of am pissed, since she is a foster carer and should be a bit more respectful of others who hate the system so she can sympathize with them just a little. I thought she would have been a bit more mature about it, but eventually we got over it and she told me a few things which seemed positive. She did tell me that she hated what happens in foster caring as well, and she is having issues of her own, so I understand why she got angry. 
I just didn't like the rudeness that came with it, knowing that there should have been more respect since I always try to respect her and if I'm expected to give respect, I want respect back. I hate some people who try to control me like that. But space is forgiven. We've been friends for years so I don't want the friendship to break up. If it does I won't trust anyone again and I'll be as hurtful as I possibly can, only towards anyone who I perceive as a threat to my relationships and such. Man if this friendship ever breaks up, nobody else is getting my forgiveness for a long time. <laughs> I don't want to sleep tonight at all now. You know, I think the hospital system is better. They don't neglect you when you're sad and lonely. I think the docs are great people. I may hate their attitudes and all that sometimes, but then there's always someone who kicks someone up the ass to keep things friendly enough. At least hospitals can take care of people really good, and they've got a consistent system in place so people don't miss out on tests and treatment. I think that even though the foster carers are mostly good, it's the government agencies that rule them that re fucking shit. I don't want to get too personal on here, but let me tell you that if I had a kid that needed help, I'd be picking and choosing the foster carers. I'd never let the government decide whether my child would or wouldn't be fostered by someone. Me and Mum are still having cat fights today. I still go right off at her. Did anyone protect me from that? No, they didn't. That's all I can say about that, but if I had a truly good agency helping me at the time, things might have changed by now. Maybe things would have turned out more worse, but I don't know. If the government is so prepared to protect children from bad parenting, why are me and Mum still hating each other? I know foster care isn't perfect. I can't expect that. But I can expect the child protection workers to be more careful with matching kids and carers, and making sure that those carers have friends or some sort of network happening, so that if the kid moves, he slash she will know that they'll be safe until they can return to their family, or until they grow up. I had a terrible experience with foster care, and I feel sad that Stacy had to hang up rudely on me because she thought I was trying to make her feel bad. Well, next time she tries to say something, I could just curse at her and say she's trying to insult me and make me feel bad, but that's mean. So yeah, that's over with. I just wish we could have conversations which don't turn out to be bitter. I hate them so much, and I don't find it a good way to keep a friendship. Oh well by the time I talk to Stacy on the phone again, I will have completely forgotten about this. Now I feel like taking it all out on my old man, but I said I'd try hard not to speak to him again. So I won't. B is an example of a good foster father. When he finds my attitude difficult, he looks past it and finds out it's because I've been yelled at too much, or I'm not tolerating being treated like shit, or something beyond just wanting to be horrible for no reason. B just waits for things to cool down, and when he offers me a drink or snack of sorts, he likes to make sure I'm a bit calm and relaxed so he knows he's giving that to someone who isn't still in a shitty mood. Then to minimize the stress, he just doesn't put as much coffee in my cup or something like that. Caffeine doesn't cause me to get shitty, but of course if I've been angry for half the night and then I have a strong cup in the morning, it won't be very good for my heart, so I was glad to wait till later to get a second cup which I made a bit stronger to my liking. At least B doesn't try to force his parenting thing onto me. He's just there to support me as much as I need it, and he just doesn't interfere otherwise, unless me and mum start killing each other. He doesn't actively intervene, but he just gets in and distracts mum with a few innocent questions about dinner or gardening or something, till I can excuse myself very rudely and take off for a while. Isn't it funny that when me and mum have a good discussion, B leaves us at it. Ha ha ha. well, when all is said and done, Troy is my most loyal friend out of everything I know. He doesn't like me when I get drunk, but he stands by anyway, waiting for me to sober up and keeping me safe as he perceives it, till I'm back to normal. When I start going off at having a bad day or I don't like something Troy is doing, he just gets over it and takes me as his best friend still. I really love the dog. Troy is doing very well at accepting Toby now. We've been chastising Toby for going under Troy's ass so much, but he still obviously doesn't know what a dog's backside is. Troy still gets edgy, but I think he'll work things out with our puppy if I keep him and Toby supervised until Troy gets to be his friend. I can't ever see my dog being very friendly with Toby, but you never know. All I know is that Troy will still be my loyal friend if I'm ever rejected by my other friends. Even if I were to reject people, I won't reject Troy. I may do temporarily, but not just out of hating. Troy because I think he's nasty to me. Something more like, he crapped on the footpath. Yuck. But no, I won't just leave Troy for dead. Man I'm so going to give someone a hard time if they try any shit on me without finding out what I want to say first. If I ever hear that people don't want to hear my opinions without giving me a chance first when I've tried to tell them that I don't want to make them feel bad, that's it. People don't have to agree with me, but I do expect them to listen to me, unless I'm trying to kill them or something. I always have to listen to other people. I know a rule for my life actually, if other people don't want to hear my opinions, then I don't have to listen to them. And I don't have to talk to people if I don't want to. It's my choice, just like they choose to reject me, or not listen to what I've got to say. Okay that's my little rule. 
If people can't respect me, they don't need my respect or my opinions. If they can't be mature enough to have a good discussion without it turning into a dog fight. I have enough of them with my family. I don't need them with my friends. At least I can't pick my family. I can pick my friends, which also means I have no problem rejecting whom I want. I like people when they are reasonable to me, but as soon as they put the control freak crap onto me, that's it. Judge for yourselves too, whether I'm a control freak. It's no skin off my nose if you hate me. At least there's a few people who like me. Nobody has to really like everyone. Share this. Heading level okay, 3. Okay, so I was having a real bitch about the way people treat me, because sometimes I get got a lot of disrespect. So I pretty much bloody ranted and raved in that blog, and... Troy, well, he was pretty naughty sometimes. He would play up and everything, but I still loved him to death, and... Yeah. Drama, share this. Sulu Utah can't wait to start back at my course tomorrow. Heading level one. I am so friggin' tired tonight. I'm so glad I wrote that blog very early this morning, otherwise I wouldn't have slept at all. As a result of staying up stressing, I crashed at something like four o'clock and slept until nearly ten. I got dressed and ready to go, and caught a bus to Coles. I was so tired then. I'm way more tired now and can't wait to crash soon. Jeez, if I could, I would have gotten really knocked ass over right now. But I've got my work course tomorrow, so I have to stay sober for at least another few weeks unless I can drink on a Friday night. If I pass the course, I'm so gonna celebrate big time. Um, yeah, back then I was drinking heavily. I was drinking very heavily and Troy didn't like it because he's used to me not drinking. So when I started drinking, it was a bad routine for him. He didn't like it. Um, he'd get all jittery and edgy and that. And um, I drank heavily because I wanted to cope with the environment I was in. Suluta, share this. Day 10 of training. Heading level one. Oh, okay. Link. Oh, Bookmark. Posts. I see. Yeah. Anyway. Preview. Address. MDJ85WordPress.com. Secure and validated okay. menu. Tabs. Top blog roll. Heading level three. Archives. Links. Log. Log. Net. Ed, le, the, no, my, good news. Six X headings. Comment mod. Blog stat. Archives. Heading level. Blog roll. Heading link. November. October 2011. Link. Eight, June 2012. Visit, August 2012. Link. July 2012. Visited. Link. June 2012. Visited. Link. Oh, I see what they're getting at. July, August 2012. September 2012. Link. I want to go to 2013. Oh, no, this, May, June 2013. May 2013. April 2013. Link. April 2013. Address. MDJ85WordPress.com. Headings. Hello. Menu. Heading level 3. My life as a blind person. This is my life. Monthly archives. Heading April 2003,100. Share this. Heading level 3. I'm feeling so foggy brained right now. If you read this person's journal. Link. You'll see exactly why. I love reading it because she does write very well. Oh, um, I read, I used to read Karen Bridge journals all the time, and now I don't, but I used to always update my blog with Karen Bridge journals and that. And actually, now I think of it, I've got my Bluetooth keyboard now that I got a few weeks ago, which I'm happy with, and um, I basically, um, I could do what I used to do and share links if I wanted to because um, I find that using a Bluetooth keyboard with my phone is a lot easier. It's a lot more efficient and it's a lot more easier for me to do stuff and edit mistakes and everything. So yeah, anyway. And although her case is urgent but not so severe that she's likely to suffer from fatal share this. Okay. Heading level the 30th leave a reply. The th be the first to like this. The 30th of April, 2013. Link. Bookmark. I notice if I don't leave a title, it leaves the date instead of a title, which, yeah, I could do that, but I like to title my blogs as well, but sometimes I don't. I just, I just leave, leave a date. Edit. Permalink to guide dog. Guide dog training. Heading level one. I had O&M this morning. A guide dog trainer turned up with my O&M instructor. She'll be back on Wednesday. She reckons Troy is doing great, and she thinks I'm doing fine too. That means my list of worries is shorter now. We went to the shop, so I bought a 600 megalitre Coke. We came back home, and I asked about a little lump thing. Ah, uh, 600 me megalitre Coke is actually millilitre Coke, not megalitre Coke. I think I wrote capital M, capital L, but if I just did capital M and a small L, it would have said millilitre Coke instead of megalitre Coke. <laughs> I'm not going to have 600 megalitres of Coke. <laughs> 
god. On Troy's chest. Luckily, it's just a spam. I don't have to worry about a damn thing now. I caught a piece of corned beef in my crock but this morning. I caught it on at about 8 a.m. When I got home, I had a ham and salad sandwich for lunch, with salad on the side. How yum. Then I waited for a good two or three hours before turning the crockpot onto the high setting. <coughs> the meat has been cooking like that ever since and right now it smells yum. I was gonna put veggies in with the beef, but have decided that I can steam them separately and have it all with some rice. That'll be tonight's dinner I think, or maybe for tomorrow. I'll make that decision in a couple of hours. Mind you, when I think about it, maybe it's going to be easier to just throw the veggies in with the meat. I just don't want to stuff around with straining it, but I'll make decisions about my dinner in a few hours. I've got a container of salad in the fridge which I wanted to eat tonight, but I guess I can eat that with either ham or corn meat tomorrow at lunch time. Again, I'm undecided on the matter. Ah, good old slow cooker. I might have to get my slow cooker out and use it again to make slow cooked meals because honestly, um... I sometimes do find it easier to like put something in the slow cooker and then do other things separately to the slow cooker so it's not WhatsApp. No. Stephanie Mitchell. Apart from the Um besides that it's I mean don't know what I'm saying. I um used to use my slow cooker all the time and it worked really well. And I guess I should be getting my slow cooker out of the cupboard so I can use it yet again because I think it works great, you know. I can cut up a whole load of veggies, put a whole load of meat in and cook it and it just cooks, you know, just works. And um, I especially love doing chicken curry, chicken casserole, you know, all of that shit. Um, and because my slow cooker is Russell Hobbs, <coughs> oh yuck, Ugh. I choked then, oh yuck, ew, choking, oh, when I was coughing, I, oh yuck, um, when I, um, put stuff into the slow cooker it takes six to eight hours on low to cook it so about seven hours to cook something um so yeah if i can do chicken or beef or fish or lamb then i know that i'm doing pretty good i was going to go to vision australia this week but unfortunately the ot won't be in on friday so i'll have to go in next week guide share this 3199. Shed, here's something for you. Heading level one. Shed, drama in the family again. Heading level one. I've really had it with some family members, I fucking tell you. I came around to my auntie's house. Nan had just gone home, and Pop greeted me. He seemed sweet enough, so I naively thought that since he had to be changing a bit towards other people and being a bit more kind, I could tell him we were seemingly getting along better lately. Apparently, I was supposedly right, yeah, we have a different point of view. I'm well number. Not when I find out from Jill a totally different story. Yes, the story is between her and the dickhead old ones, but the point is that her sad story of their huge argument has proven to me that Pop's attitude towards other people hasn't changed a bit. It means that one minute, well, I wanted to forgive my grandparents, until they lied to me not long ago when I first turned up here. Why do I get a feeling of how righteous they supposedly are, only to learn that that is called deception? They were never righteous in the first place. Eee, -e -e, I even admitted that I wanted to go home to my little cave and I'd have no family at all. Then I told Jill I'd already disowned half the family, to which she had no answer. I feel sorry for Jill and Bill. I don't want... Bill wants me to be a bit nice to the grandparents, which I agree with. He can't always help me. Share this. Email. Like. Be the first of... The 28th of April, 2013. Link. April. One, two men are drinks, but that... Share this. Blog stats. Heading level three. Um, Complimentary. When Landmark. When I was living in Cairns, I was still drinking quite a bit. Sir. Hold a... Edit. Hold a post. I was still drinking Hello. quite Button. a bit when I lived in Cairns, but not nearly as much as when I lived in Darwin. When I was in Darwin living with mum, I drank a huge amount of alcohol from time to time. I'd, I'd binge drink. Sometimes I'd just had a social drink where I'd have three or four drinks. Sometimes I'd have five or six drinks. If I was binge, drink, binge drinking, I'd drink half a cask of wine in one night. Half a cask. Menu. Monthly archives. April 2009. Share this. Share, share, share this. Losing track of days. Share this. 
I was sitting here reading Kiring Bridge, which I desperately need a break from again. Shit, really fucking hot today. Head, the weather has gone from a cake. Shit, looks like all the drama is gone from my life. Shit, blog stats. Heading left. Oh, edit. Lick. All the posts. Button. Posts. Recalode. Button. Okay. Tabs. Button. Posts I like. Reader available. Top posts. Are cut. Reader available. Blog stats. Shed. One too many drinks, but that's fine with me. Heading level oh, one. I have uh, Shed. Be the first. The twin. Leave a reply. Oh. Edit. Lick. Leap. The 28th of April. Le edit. All the posts. Button. Search. Why? Tech. All the posts. You won't allow me to click Bookmark. on the Bookmark. Tabs. Posts. Button. Book. Share. Button. That's posts I like. Reader available. Top posts and pages. Blog roll. Heading level three. Uh, reader available. Blog stats. Share this. Heading I I have the bet. One too many drinks, but I have the bet. Share this. Oh. Blog stats. Heading level. Links. Headings. Link. Form. Search. S search. Reader available. Reload. But menu. Heading level three. Buttons. Seven buttons. Oh, Back. Gosh. Button. Reader. Auto activate. Automatic. Activate. Reader. Oh, Address. God. MDG. Tab. Tabs. Button. Back. Button. Reload. Button. Oh, so Text field. Button. Really Form good. controls. Links. Headings. Tabs. 21 headings. Posts I like. Heading. Top post. Blog roll. Heading level three. Complete arc. Reader available. Blog stats. Search. Edit. Leave a reply. The 28th. Be the first to like the, the 28th of April. Leap. Edit. Search. Text. Blog stats. Heading 13,208 yeah, hits. End. No Complimentary. Older posts. Oh, that sucks. So I can't even use Safari with WordPress because it won't let me go back to read other blogs. Oh, that sucks. That honestly sucks. What? Doc. Combat. You. Rec WhatsApp. Recorder HQ. Recorder HQ. Settings. Dimmed. Settings. Pause. Stop. 